Thank you for listening to Life Improvement Radio. You are listening to a rebroadcast of a previously recorded show. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. It ain't about the, uh, cha-ching, cha-ching. Not about the, yeah, ba-bling, ba-bling. Want to make the world dance. Forget about the price Okay, gang, welcome back. We're going to hit the ground running here with another installation of the Life Improvement Radio version of Perfection. This is the, the RGA Radio Hour. <laughs> Mark O'Donnell, the president. My name's A.P. Bullock. I'm uh, one of the guys that uh, helps You're along with the co-host show. co-host and VP of the Right, you know, of course, uh, vice president, all that other stuff. I'm also a client. Um, today we have an amazing uh, individual on the show who I'm just having the uh, privilege of meeting right now, first time. It looks like uh, the Brandtastic. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Almost semi-elastic. This Frank J. <laughs> Matola. That's it. And, Junior. Uh, Frank is from Brandtastic and uh, Results Driven Marketing. That's what it's all about. So uh, let's jump in. And, you know, tell us what's going on with that. So, Frank, if we're getting on that proverbial elevator and we get on the elevator and the mm. door is closed and I turn to you and I say, what do you do? What well, who's on the elevator with me? That's the question. Nothing. It would oh. just be oh, me Oh, just me and you? And you? Yeah. Oh, that's... Well, I don't like elevator speeches, first off, but <laughs> my tagline says it all, results-driven marketing. Okay. And if you're spending money on marketing and you're not getting results, then you're just throwing money out the window. So trackable marketing uh, that you're doing that you know, on the web primarily is where we're focusing right now. Right. You know, there's a lot of different things you can throw money at, but do they give a return? So... So what would be the return? Like the return on your investment for like clicks to your website? I guess you'd have to value what you're trying yeah. to accomplish. Well, most of my clients, they come in where they've already spent money on a website or two and they're not getting any results or they don't know if they're getting results. You know, everybody says, oh, your website looks great, but... When they put analytics on the website, which is a free tool you can get from Google, then they find out that, well, you know, they're getting four visits a, a day. So they thought they were getting 400. So there's ways to see how your website is performing, and that's the key right there. Sure. When, when we go in, we set a, a baseline of where they started, and then after we've done our magic, we uh, step away. Right. And see see how they're improving. So, could you give our listeners maybe three tips for their website? I could give them ten. Ooh, actually, okay, we're <laughs> for the hold price of three. <laughs> for the price of three, that's yeah. great. As it tip turns out, one. as it turns out, right now I happen to be doing a speaking tour of the Tampa area with right. your network. Right. So I'm at a different in meeting. your network, Frank. RGA yeah, RGA. Network. RGA. It's a great network. You meet. Tons of people. So we're, we're showing up with a, a screen, and we're putting on a PowerPoint uh, presentation gen- in, in designed to help people do better on the web because anybody can do what I do. It's just a matter of doing all the right things, and I mean all of them, in the right order, and then you're going to get the results. But there are a lot of things. So networking or business, that website tip number one. Okay. Build on a strong platform. Okay. What do I mean by that? Yes. One word or two words. WordPress. Okay. We've been in this business over 10 years. We used to build PHP, HTML, use Dreamweaver. We still do that. But now WordPress, a custom-designed WordPress site, is going to be the way to go. Okay. How many have one. you ever heard how many sites on the internet are actually WordPress? Um, no. Will you share that information <laughs> with us? That's twenty three percent of all websites on the internet. Are WordPress. Yeah. There's fifty thousand new WordPress sites every day. So wow. it's definitely got something going for it. There's tons of reasons why. And uh, I'm gonna give everyone a resource link that they can go to later and they can get more information than they, they, they'd ever want, which is part of this uh, speaking tour. We give all the participants this link, and they can go there and, and find these resources to help them do better on the web. 
All right, so tip number two for your website. Getting the basics right, okay? So what are the basics? Ooh, then we'd be tip number two, A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's all about the capturing money. visits, right? Capturing visits, okay. So you need to, once they're there, we'll talk about how you get them there later, but once they're there, you have a few things you need. Some people just use the, the web as a yellow pages. So you need your phone number. Right. Prominent. You don't want people to have to look for it. Secondly, you want to have all your social media connections prominent. You want to have your video. Every home page really should have a video on it. Uh, That's a good idea. Excuse me? That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, key to uh, success is having a call to action. And everybody knows that they should have a contact form or a free report or a discount coupon. On my website, we have a, an ability to just, just give me an email and your name, and you'll get a, a response that links you to our resource page. And then you just get that for free. I'm not going to bother you and spam you. You know, it's just you have to be careful with uh, how you market. You have to be... Sure. You know, genuine about what you do. So those are key things. And then the content, of course, is, is what people come for. You know, it just can't just be a lot of words to please Google. It's got to be something that people are interested in. Right. <clears throat> now, every company has a story, right? You have a story. I've heard right. your story. I won't repeat it here. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> bring this on the air. <laughs> Aaron, you have a story probably. Or oh, got a couple. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's what makes you different. It's what makes you interesting. People gravitate towards that. Right. You know, unless you want to race to the bottom and be the Walmart of whatever you do and offer the lowest price, then it, you have to highlight your unique selling proposition. What makes you better? And everybody has that. A lot of companies don't know that. But an outsider like me, I can go in with our team and we can look at what they do, how they do it, and immediately come up with some uh, some selling points, and that's what we highlight. Okay, so we're now on to number three. Absolutely. Number three. I'm going to hold you to those There's ten three tips. things. Okay. Okay. Citations, citations, and citations. So it's kind of like real estate. Location, exactly. location, location. <laughs> what are citations for those of us out there in radio land that don't know? Okay. Like a traffic citation? <laughs> I did get a few of those traveling <laughs> back and forth to Tampa recently, but <laughs> it uh -oh, happens. My wife is listening tonight, uh -oh. isn't she? Well, <laughs> citations are just another word for a listing on the web about your business. So there's places like Super Pages you've heard of, Yellow sure. Pages, Merchant Circle, Yelp, Kudzu. Oh yeah. There's just tons of them. And what Google likes is to see that you have a presence on all those places. So generally, that's part of our foundation that we build is by creating all those or claiming them because some of them will just appear on their own right. and you just have to go in and claim it and then fill out all the right information, add photos, add links. And the key is to have your nap. Would that be NAP? <laughs> yes. Not, <laughs> not the nap not, of your neck. <laughs> not before you do the work, but it means name, address, and phone number. All the same on all platforms that you enter your information. Of course, the website should sh also, also be in there, you know, right. your URL. But there's about, there's hundreds of these. The more, the better. This takes a lot of time. A lot of people don't like to do this. Right. But on the resource link that we're going to give you, you can go there and find a list of 70 that we use for our clients. And all you have to do is click on it, and it opens a window. You enter your information. You submit it. Now, the key here is you, if you're starting out fresh and you really want to do your web marketing right, you don't have your Google my business page or whatever they're calling it now it used to be called uh, google places then they right. changed it to something else well that still is key to your success there's the yahoo local page there's the bing uh local, local page. page 
but you save those for last. You do all these citations on these other sites, you wait a few weeks, you know, because Google's going to go out and look when you do your Google page, and they're going to see what else is out there. So you want to make your imprint as big as possible. So that's what citations are all about. We make it easy on ourselves. We develop what's called the citation worksheet, where we have all the information right there, a description of the company, uh, the market we're in, the names of the towns. So then we can just copy and paste each one into the citation site. I've been doing all the talking. Can't you talk for citations, a while, Citations, <laughs> citations, citations. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, um, you know, Frank, it's very engrossing. And so since I really don't know anything about it, I'm kind of enwrapped in what you're saying. So, uh, I mean, obviously you've got some quality stuff, and it's definitely substantial. Well, that's good. Most people fall asleep when they say <laughs> well, When we get to number six. Uh -oh. or seven. Because they can't grasp it. They don't get it. <laughs> right. And, well, and it's so important, though, well, the marketing. I mean, it is. It's, Especially in today's age, because, you know, back when we were youngsters, yeah. it was newspapers, yellow pages. I mean, that's where you... And you're right, and I want to highlight, especially to all, listen, all younger viewers and listeners who are in business. Say, you know, you're going for your, your, your master's in business. You're going to want to listen to this, okay? Yeah. I think... Uh, Brandtastic is one of those things that you really got to kind of hook into, and I believe it's got a lot of really positive aspects that you can really garner some amazing information. Well, you can get degrees in social media now, so yeah. it gives you an idea of how important it what, all is. What, a Bachelor of Science in social media? <laughs> really? Well, of course. Oh, my goodness. You know, Full Sail University in Orlando has a full host of degrees in all sorts of different things. In social related media. to internet marketing. Well, we're going to tell. I don't have a degree. We're going to introduce the graduating class of 2015 right after these messages. We'll be right back. LifeImprovementRadio.com would like to thank all of our listeners for your continued support. Please make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with all of our shows, events, and local appearances. back and uh here on life improvement radio uh and of course mr eric rimmel the producer and here our gia radio hour is brought to you by mr mark o'donnell myself ap bullock and of course our very esteemed guest mr um frank matola um we've, we've got a lot of cool things coming up with rga our first ever virtual university details will be on the rga network.net uh page rga uh, rob DeFries is hosting our first He's uh, great in real uh online Go, university we have uh our in real life university, Miss Liz Lopez, which is doing the LML, the power of words um, to sell your product or service. As Liz, a pretty awesome. She's also a guru on LinkedIn. You know, she is a guru on LinkedIn. And then in March, we have Miss Vanessa Borns. She's also a host here on Life Improvement Radio. Vanessa, uh, your legal matters. Uh, Vanessa is a member of RGA, and she's doing twenty legal tips that every business owner needs to know Ooh. or hasn't done. We tonight we're with Brand Tastic. Frank, let's first satisfy. How did Brandtastic come about? Give us a little background. We all want, we'll get back well, to our social tips, our website tips. But anyway. I have been in business for myself my entire life and uh, went to school for advertising design, joined my dad out of college. He had a sign business. The first thing I did, I do have a natural talent as an artist. I designed all the clients' logos over again. So they all loved it and they all bought new signs and so your had dad new, loved it oh yeah we had work you know like crazy 
And then we started doing brochures. We started doing uh, all kinds of trade show displays, and the company got bigger. But then the web came along. 98 or so, I started getting involved in, in the web way back then. When Al Gore invented the well, Internet. Well, yes. He consulted with me a little bit. Did he? But I wasn't really involved in the ground floor. He with gave him. you a quick call? Yeah. <laughs> But in the beginning, I subcontracted some of it. I did all my own photography. I still do. I love photography. So but you're I like pretty good at it. Yeah, I like to. Uh, I help businesses. That's what I love to do. I love to see the results. But, anyways, that grew and grew, and the web just became the focus. Although we still do brochure design, we do logo design. But the web is central to all your marketing. Whether you meet someone at a networking event. You mail them something, they're going to check you out on the web. So oh, yeah. it's got to be good. Absolutely. Well, just the other day, we were at home, and the dogs went crazy, you know, at the door. And, of course, I went to check it out. And there on our step was this <laughs> little yellow sort of uh, shrunken shrunken little yellow uh, book, for lack of a better word, <laughs> that had tiny, tiny print in it. And I thought, what in the world is this? Has someone, one of the kids, dropped a thing out of their <laughs> school back? <laughs> it was a, a yellow pages. And I thought to myself, yeah. oh, my what? God. I didn't even know. I mean, I th- was like back to the future. You was know? it like a tiny, tiny yellow pages? <laughs> <laughs> Did it well, get shrunk? A, a big one, which is kind of small, and then a tiny one, which is real tiny. But I didn't know they It's a pocket size, anymore. I think. A and pocket uh, yellow pages. That's someone cool. who is visually challenged that you know, <laughs> I have multiple pairs of glasses throughout the house. I had to oh, yeah. put my glasses on to see exactly what it was. Yeah. So you remember those days whenever yeah, you Yeah, those days are there. over, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Even the oldest among us are pretty web savvy these days. And, right. Yeah, absolutely. There's tons of people that are older that are in the web. Yeah. I'm not one of them, but you know what the hell. Well, my disappointment was that I couldn't use it for a doorstop anymore because it was so small. Oh, now. they shrank it. Yes. You know? Or to prop up your monitor, <laughs> you know, to raise well, your that, monitor. Yeah, there's yeah. still uses, I guess. But, you know, here's a, a point that I like to make about the Yellow Pages. Just imagine back then your company was spending big bucks to have an ad in a section that you were in. And compare it to Google. When you look at Google, only 5% of the people go to the second or third page. Right. So looking at Google and how important it is to be on that first page would be like advertising in the Yellow Pages, but people only went to the first page of the book. Wouldn't well, they went be crazy? to those big ads, those <laughs> display ads. Nobody went for the business listing. Well, no, but to bring it into the today's world, where on Google you need to be on page one or you're not going to be seen. Right. It'd be like advertising in the yellow pages. Nobody's going to see you because they only go to page one. It's like winking at a girl in a dark bar. Does she really see you? No, I'm not sure that's an analogy. Winking at anybody in a dark bar, oh, yeah. are they going to see you? <laughs> you have to hit the strobe just like right. So let's get back to our web We better. Tips. I just don't know why we ever left. Anyway, go ahead, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? I think four. Okay. Or were we on five? Uh, yeah. Four. Now, you see the attorney, you said, had 20 points. Maybe yes. I need to work on 20. Funny, yeah. Know. Well, all you're giving we'll us is ten, right so now. we have to, you know, <laughs> snag these little tidbits, you know. So all right, tip number, number four, four, four coming up is mobile sites are obsolete. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh no, he did. Are obsolete. <laughs> it's a trick. Yes, he did. All right, responsive sites are what's living and well, and a responsive site differs from a dedicated mobile site in that it is the same content that's on your full website, but it is coded in such a way that when it's narrow, like a tablet, it redesigns itself. Right. And it looks great. You mean like the RGA network.net site? Oh, you're ahead of me on that, huh? I know. But there's so many people that are behind on that curve, and it's really not all that hard to update a site and to make, especially a WordPress site, make it responsive so it looks good on all devices. Now, that can way, Brandtastic do that for a customer out oh there? Gosh, then? of course we can, Mark. Okay, well, I'm just. We don't checking. want to be being too salesy, though. We, we don't, but. <laughs> oh, my website, you asked. Yes, about. what is the website? Brandtastic. B R A N D T A S T 
T-I-C, numeral one, dot com. Now, did you by chance submit Brandtastic to Wikipedia to become a word? It's a word, but I do have it trademarked. Okay. And I learned that lesson, which is a good lesson. You need to have a good IP attorney that takes care of your branding and your name choice has to be important. I mean, it has to be looked into. I made the, the bad mistake of having a name called Brand Solutions, and I figured if I searched the SunBiz in Florida and no one had it, I'd be okay. Well, right. I wasn't. I got a letter from an attorney in Oregon, I believe it was, and it was a very large company, and I just pretty much had to say, okay, well, that's your name. i got to stop. But it, actually, it led me to Brandtastic because I had to be more creative and think of a better name. Right. And it's a great name. It is a great name because it like, rhymes with fantastic. No way. <laughs> I, <laughs> right? I never thought of that. <laughs> but Where what? Were I think the BR before it just really gets it. It Brandtastic. Does. It's all about the brand. That's, That's right. right. I should write a song. You should. No Wait, treble. It's not about, about the bass. The it's about the brand. It's all about the brand. <laughs> about the brand. So, okay, tip my do- number five. five. Okay. Five. Have a contact form. Okay? Have a contact form. Make it easy to find. I like them right on the home page or have at least a big contact link. Don't use your open, naked email because you're going to get tons of spam. There's webs. Uh, the platforms like one, two, three contact form where you can get free contact forms up to a certain number of uh, inquiries a month. And you just set up the code. You build it yourself. It's very user-friendly. You insert that code or link on your website, and it turns into a contact form. So then fill out the name, fill out the email, uh, what is your uh, question or you know, check here if you're interested in this. There's many variations that you can use. And, and we manage probably 100 contact forms for clients. So that's another way to measure how the site is doing. If people are requesting estimates or they're requesting coupons, then we know we're doing things right. And a contact form allows that. Cool. That's tip number five. Tip now, do you have a contact six. form on RGN? We do. Okay. We do. No. Just so you know. We, we have so. two, actually. We have one that goes to, would you like to be on our email mailing list? Bum, and, bum, then, bum. and then we have one that says, which meeting would you like to attend? They're all good. It's hard to decide. So, smell are, us. Smell, smell us. us. And who knew? I know, right? So tip number six. All right. This is very important. Reviews are needed. Oh, yeah. And they're not easy to get. We all know that. Yes, you can review rganetwork.net on Yelp at rganetwork.net. Yelp has become the bomb in terms of reviews. I mean, Google is the king. You really need the reviews there. But Yelp is tied together with, with Yahoo and Bing. It's also tied in with iPhones. And Apple. Yes. So when so you now, search for a restaurant on your Apple 6... Plus, like my wife just got, you will get the Yelp reviews. And oh, yeah? then you'll decide which restaurant you want to go to. So, now, are you guys on Instagram as well? Instagram for business has not really hit Hadn't its pace yet. But yet. I did see a presenter who gave a, a, a compelling argument. He makes wooden bow ties, actually. Really? Pretty unique. So, anything that's <laughs> very visual. You would want to use Instagram to get that out there. My favorite is Pinterest because that is also very visual. Pinterest, right. And it has a large audience. And, in fact, the uh, family household income on Pinterest, last I heard, was 100000 And the, there's decent. mostly women on there. Oh, yeah. So you have a good chance of getting your yeah. product showcased there. Women can definitely rock the, the bank lately, so... That's but, right. uh, you know, right now we're going to take a real quick last word because we're going to go right to commercial here in about uh, 20 seconds. But anyway, real quick, guys, any last thing before commercial? Uh, we have Leo's Italian Grill the first Tuesday of the month is tomorrow. Tomorrow night up at Leo's. It's Leo's great, Italian great Grill. spread, great Open cocktails. Open networking. We partnered with the Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce. That's good tomorrow food, night. too. Good food, good Italian Also food. good grub, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll be right back with uh, Brandtastic and your other five tips Woo-hoo. for your website. Four. 
uh, four right after half. this. So four you know, and a half. That's right. Four and a half. We're just almost there. Uh, stick around here. We'll be right back. Who knows about your product or service? How do you reach your customers? On-air and online advertising opportunities are available with LifeImprovementRadio.com and are much more affordable than you may think. Call 727-698-0112 or email info at LifeImprovementRadio.com for rates and more information. So Leo's Italian Grill tomorrow night. We've partnered with the Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce right. uh, that is uh, up on U.S. Highway 19. From uh, 6:30. Uh, actually, tomorrow it's 5:30. Oh, Thank 5:30. you, Connie. Wow. Connie, uh, when they sent out their email blast, she put in uh, an earlier start time. So we'll be networking. Why do people do this? Because Connie was excited to partner with us. Well, she needs to be excited about details. Love you, Connie. <laughs> Anyway, no, we do love we'll you, Connie. See you tomorrow, 5.30 to 8. I'm not going to be there, so I can say that. Mm, she'll have to give me next time. <laughs> she will get you. I know. She, girl, you better, you in danger, girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tonight, we're with Frank from Brand We love you, Connie. Fantastic. Frank, tell everybody your last name, because I screwed Matola. up. It's Matola. Matola. Yes. Matola. It reminds me of You've... Motorola. Motorola. Well, Matola. no, not the same family. Not the no. same family. So, Frank, <laughs> I, we're, we're giving away 10 radio on great your... tips for your website, why in the world are you giving away tips that you normally yeah, charge Yeah, I was wondering because they're so good. Well, that's just the beginning, really. Once I give this link, which I'll give right now. You know what? You're, right, you're, so you're, you're, you're a giver. He's a giver. <laughs> We're this is a giver. in Tampa. So we want to increase the business in Tampa. So it's increasetampa.com. Oh, it's going to lead you right to the resource page. And my way of thinking is... For those who can't afford to hire someone to do all this, there is a way to do it. There are steps to take. And it's not a big mystery. It's not, it's not magic dust. It's not any secret formula. It's real work that just needs to be done in the right order, and it takes a lot of work. So if they want to do it, great. But the other side of the coin is I like to educate people. I like my clients to know what I'm doing and to understand the process so they realize how What's time happening? consuming it is. Yeah. And they realize there's an end to it and there's results at the end. So by educating the client, I have a better client. So, you know, many of them don't want to hear it. They just say, please just do this, Frank. I really don't need to hear about all this stuff. Right. You know, it, it's kind of boring. There's yeah. an old <laughs> adage business owners have that do what you do best and farm the rest. That's it. That's, you know? that's what I do. You won't find me out there mowing my lawn. <laughs> I just don't do that good. And that's what I tell my wife anyway. <laughs> if she's don't listening. like doing it. Um, okay, so... Mrs. Matola, six. these may not be the uh, the sentiments or the thoughts of uh, Mr. Matola. <laughs> Tip number six. <laughs> well, we were on number six, uh, we were but on I didn't six. quite finish because okay. I did want to let you know a couple of ways to get more reviews, okay? You, you need to build a database of your, of your customers' emails. Right. That's critical. That way you can communicate with them in the form of a newsletter or offers, but you can also ask them for reviews. When you ask them, make it easy for them. Create a page on your website that has the logos for the important sites, yellow pages, whatever you decide, Yelp, uh, certainly Google, and Yahoo, and you have their logos, and they just say right at the top, you know, choose the one that you're comfortable writing a review, and please help us out. Do all six if, you, if you, you're inclined, you know. Then they uh, are led to that by an email. They, they click on the link to your website, and then they have a choice of where they want to leave a review. Right. Another trick or tactic, I should say, is to take all the good reviews that you find out on the Internet 
and use a, a page on your website to highlight those. So copy them from Super Pages, put them on your website. Copy them from Google, put them on your website. They're real reviews. You're not making stuff up, but when someone's on your website and they click the tab that says reviews, they can read right there the reviews. You could even say where they came from. That's a good idea. You know, we'll have the to name. add that. Absolutely. To the RGA Network .net See, site. he's leaving little breadcrumbs all the way I like to that. his website. We have a beautiful review from lifeimprovementradio.com. Uh, Frank, so tip number seven. Eric Grandma. All right. There's three letters <laughs> that are essential to anyone's success <laughs> on the web. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, are we going to share those? Ba -dum, ba -dum. S E O. <gasps> which stands for search engine optimization. Now, I used to have a, a badge that I would wear to different networking events years ago when people didn't know what SEO was, and it would just say, ask me about SEO. And when they asked me, well, okay, what does that mean? I would say, that means that I'm the super executive officer. That's what like they that call too. me when I'm done doing our work at your company. See, I thought it stood for sexy European omnivores, so I didn't. <laughs> that's it. Kind of screwed that's me up. Another way to look at it. Yeah, that is. What I is think an omnivore, it, anyways? It's uh, someone who'll eat anything. Oh, okay, pretty okay, much. Let me, I let would me just, fit that okay, group too. That, that sounded weird. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's someone who will eat both um, plant and. Uh, and I'm both. there. And, uh, seafood, or anything. Spice, whatever. Yeah. I'm a seafood But let's get eater. down to the business here. Yeah, yeah, SEO. Go, go right ahead. SEO. Okay. This is Google's game, all right? Google has your destiny in their hands. If you can do the things they want you to do and deliver a quality website that they feel confident presenting on page one, then you're going to reap rewards from that. Now, of course, everybody knows they can pay to be on page one with an ad, right, okay? Right, right. But the issue is, is that only 20%, now this is, there's a statistic that was done by a study recently of the people that visit the first page are going to click on an ad. Right, nobody clicks on the ads. No, you know you're just going to get the runaround. Yeah, and it's you're going to get redirected. Not all the time. For $19.95, you're going to get. Yeah, so they go for the first what's called organic listing. All right, 100% organic. You know? Right. It's, now, how do you get on that first well, organic that's what, listing? There's 200 different signals that at plus that Google looks at. And I say Google all the time. I mean all the search engines. Google, but Bing, Yahoo, AOL. Google gets about 70% of all search. Bing gets about 19%. And I think Yahoo's down to 9 or 10. Uh, Yahoo's really becoming irrelevant. And actually, those two share the same search engine. So you're pretty much seeing the same results on Bing and Yahoo. Makes our job a little easier. So your organic results. Now, the other results to look at are the local results. Now, that's sort of a, a quick way in the door to getting on the first page. If you can do all those citations, that relates to those local results. When you do your Google My Business page and you do it correctly, your teardrop can show up on the map and your listing can show up in the local results with your reviews. That tip, air. Tip Which is number. cool. Tip number seven. Yeah, we're on. St I have seven. so much to say about seven, but okay. we don't have enough time. You have to go to that link, increasetampa.com. There's a whole list of a host of things you can do relating to SEO. But one thing about reviews, how this ties in here, you get five reviews on Google, and your stars show up in gold, and it it looks so much more impressive because people just love clicking on those stars. Oh yeah. So if you have anything other than a five-star review for rganetwork.net, <laughs> please reach out to me directly because I would love to understand why you can't review us as a five-star review. How is that? I think it's because it's called fear. It's a double-edged sword. A lot they of feel are afraid to get reviewed. But they're going to review you either way. If you make it easy, then you'll get more good reviews. If you have a negative review, you can address it. You can uh, well, yeah. come back and, Absolutely. and or you can well, you contact know, the customer. You want happy customers, right? It's human nature, especially in business. You know, those who envy try to uh, you know, be an obstacle. 
Well, I always say networking is kind of your own business review. Those business owners that stay in a network year after year after year can walk into a meeting with their head held high because they usually deal with, you know, they satisfy all their customers yeah. or they yeah. make them happy. Your re and reputation. Yeah. They realize this is a, rep like you said, a reputation. It. It's a business and it's a reputation. And it's a, like you said earlier, uh, Frank, it was, it's a passion. And yeah. that's where a lot it of it shows. Goes from. Yeah. But the thing today, everything is so transparent because if you do something and, and it's not a, a good job, it gets out there real quick on the Internet. Oh, yeah. So. But we didn't talk about what SEO really me the meat of it. And there's, there's content, okay? Right. Very important. There's meta tags on your website that have to be done correctly. Title tag, description tag, header tag, keyword tag. It's just... A lot of work on your website. Then there's work off your website. You want people to be linking to you. So that's like a vote of confidence that you are important. So on my website, I have a link to RGA Network right on the side. I have your logo. So what I'm doing is I'm giving RGA strength. And it doesn't hurt me. It's an interconnected web of linking that really Google loves to look at and see, okay, what... What site gets the most votes? Who has the most links going to it? In the old days, they used to contrive that type of work and outsource it, and you'd have links from, you know, Alajami's uh, Groshmart in uh, India somewhere, and that's not going to work anymore because Google looks for relevant links that are near your business, and uh, you're going to get penalized if you put bogus links up there. Or if you have Alajami's... Grocery in India. <laughs> so the meeting there on Thursday has been canceled. Uh -huh. um, we're with Frank Matola from Brandtastic. Uh, we're Brandtastic. Sharing, we're sharing the 10 best tips for your website. And uh, Frank's going to give us 8, 9, and 10. And we're, you don't even have to wait till Sunday, many, Sunday. How many <laughs> seconds do I have left to do 8, um, 9, and 10? Well, you well we're going to come back after a commercial after here. Oh, okay, great. Messages. And uh, we don't really call them commercials, but yeah, well, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back here in just a couple of seconds. LifeImprovementRadio.com would like to thank all of our listeners for your continued support. Please make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with all of our shows, events, and local appearances. Mr. Worldwide to infinity, <laughs> you know the roof on fire. We can boogie, oogie, oogie, jiggle, wiggle, and dance <laughs> like the roof on fire. Okay, I'm hearing some odd music. That was great, Eric. Thank it's you. It's just the, the people in your head, Mark. Don't oh, worry. Okay. The voices we're, in my we're head back are with always talking our, to me. We're going to jump right back for uh, uh, Marco Donald, myself, AP Bullock, Mr. Eric Remmel, and, of course, Mr. Uh, Frank. And I'm going to say... Matola. Matola. With an A, but it's with an O. A. <laughs> and... Uh, Mr. Brand Task himself, and we're going to go ahead. We've got a couple more things you wanted to state on Tips your... Tips for the website. One through right. ten. we got eight, so nine, and ten. So SEO is really important. Yeah, the, if you go to that resource link at... Which uh, is? ...increasetampa.com, you're going to find most of it is on SEO. There's a lot of learning there. I'm giving you a lot of links to places where you can sign up for newsletters, where you will get... Uh, monthly or weekly notifications of what's changing because everything changes constantly in this business sure. and you have to stay on top of it. But you can learn on the web pretty much anything now, including all of this. So number eight is get social. Everybody's seen the social guru, right? And they've all told you different things to do. When the Matt Cutts from Google said a few years back that they were going to value social signals when it came to ranking websites, I knew that social was really important. Of course, it is important because people buy from 
uh, those that they trust. And if they trust their friend and their friend recommends something, they're going to value that much more than any advertisement. So a post on Facebook that says, you know, you should join our GA network, you know, it's the best thing in Tampa area, now spreading to your town too, then they're going to believe that because they know their friend. It's like a testimonial. So it's like the old days when we sat on the front porch, or I didn't, but you know, back in the 1800s, they sat on the front porch of the general store and told stories, right? Or the 1980s when we did it in Kirkwood. Kirkwood. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to tell me about that later. Right. But everybody knows you about social. You know, they know about Facebook. Yes. We do what companies don't want to do. We manage their social. We become like chameleons. We're inside the company. We're writing blogs about what they do. We're posting on, um, on social media. You don't want to be the person out there posting, we have a $99 special this week. You know, people don't, in, you know, they don't get involved with stuff like that. It just goes right by them. So the big six that we use are Google Plus for Business. It's important. It's monumental. It's my second favorite. Well, <clears throat> there, you may hear the crickets there because it's not really that social. Right. But it, it's a, a must-do. YouTube also owned by Google. You need to host some videos there, have your channel. The Facebook page, of course, it's, you have to do it. Twitter, there's certain people that just love Twitter, and they use Twitter. They communicate on Twitter. They get their they news from Twitter. They tweet all the time. Yes. So you will reach, especially in certain industries. Now, I'm working for a client, Lawhorns Seasonings. It's a homegrown seasoning from, from uh, Haines City. You can buy it at Winn-Dixie and Walmart. And people in the cooking, the chefs, the, uh, the mom bloggers, they are on Twitter. So we communicate a lot that way. Pinterest is also important, and as well as LinkedIn. If you're trying to reach out to other business people, LinkedIn is a great tool. As your own personal profile, you can now have a, a header image so it looks beautiful. You build it out completely. You put your videos on there. Then you invite someone to uh, connect. What do you think they're going to do? Check you out. They're going to look at your page. They're going to be introduced to what you do, all just by inviting them. I don't want to overdo social, but it is important, obviously. Uh, let's get on to number nine. Number nine. Number nine, the key to your success, one of the keys, is your Google account. Just because it's tied to so much else. It's tied to Google+. Plus. The Google Local, which is called Google My Business, you can get free analytics through Google. You can have a Webmaster's Tool account that can tell about the healthier website, and of course YouTube. And then the final wrap on this is every company needs a blog. Number ten. Do you have a blog, Mark? We don't. And here's ah, my. Thing. I found your weak point. I know. And <laughs> but you can talk so well. You can write just as well. I'm Everyone sure. Everyone says you just have to have through, a you know? blog. My problem is I can't think <clears throat> of anybody's blog I've ever read. Well, you're because they're normally run bird. on and on. I, you know? I just I, I start them. I get about two or three sentences in, and I'm like. Well, it's got to be interesting and compelling. Yes. You, know, but, you can you do know. that in less than a paragraph. But I, I tried to follow Ellen DeGeneres. Uh -huh. Sorry, Ellen. I can't. We love yeah. Ellen. She's very Ellen boring. rocks. But, well, but her show's great. Love, love Ellen. Shows. There's got to be She's awesome. hundreds of thousands of people that do read it. Right? Oh, I'm sure they, they, oh, I'm they sure. live yeah. on her every word. I've tried to follow Life Improvement's blog. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Damn. I'm just, I'm just reading I'll give about you past. I, I'm much more of a current. I'm a Twitter person. 140 oh, characters okay. draws me in. <laughs> and then I'm like, whoop, I'm done. Maybe <laughs> I think they have a, a name for that. A, D, 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 D. D. Yeah, okay. Like that. That's a good but, trick because we don't blog. Well, I read the social media, the, the, uh, your website, and you have all, maybe it's one of your cronies. One of the employees because I don't blog. They might be right now. Lord it. have mercy. <laughs> some but people yes, get I, confused. They say, you know, blog. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And, and some people have like their daily routine where they went to Starbucks and then they oh, did well. this. Yeah. Not everybody's Ariana Huffington. So what's your recommendations okay. for content on a blog? Well, we run into that with clients saying a blog. You know, 
what's interesting about my business? Right. Like, but there's interesting things about every business. You just have to make it consumer friendly. And that becomes ammo for your social media because you don't want to be selling. Right. So you're linking to your blog on your social media. They'll find their way to your website or your phone number. You just want to provide quality content for them somewhere in the neighborhood of what it is you do. It could be very... So we could do networking tips, I guess. Oh, gosh. There's so many things you could do. You could do stories of uh, people being successful at networking events. or I'll give you an example. We have a house painter who was resistant to a blog. Now we've done hundreds of posts for him. If you were to search, how do I clean flat paint walls, he'll be number one. And that alone generates hundreds of visits every month of people who paint their walls. <laughs> they clean them, they paint them, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a relevant term. You know, there's so many things with decorating, with color choices. With, sure. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. We can write about anything. We just got a new client that's an accountant, and I thought that might be a little tough, but yes. when it comes to saving money on taxes, right, or planning for retirement, there's huge deals. You yeah. know, you've got to People are interested in this stuff. But accountant accountants tend to be dry yes are you, are you saying they're like boring or <laughs> well this guy his name <laughs> is cotton mather he's from pittsburgh one of the mather? Best cpas mather mather like very Jerry unusual Mathers. name cotton mather yes like Jerry. only he, singular yeah he's a jovial well, guy he's Mathers. been in business over 20 years has lots of friends he's your, not your typical cpa well, that's good. So that was tip number 10 is blog about your business. That's it. Who that's, would have thought? That is our weakness. We're always looking for well, someone. That's to quite blog a few pearls of day. wisdom, uh, I'll tell you right now, Mr. Matola. Uh, you know. Uh, and so say, I, I'm sure, I'm sorry. Aaron. No, that's good. Um, cool. I'm sure. I was just going to throw it over to you because I know we got some things that we, we're we talking do. about we, all this week and month. We so. have a lot of things going on for February. We love our members. We're doing a virtual university, uh, which is on our website, hosted by Rob DeFries. We're doing our In Real Life University, which is uh, this month's university instructor is Liz M. Lopez. LML. Um, and we have two after-hour events that we're publicizing. One is our Tomorrow Night at Leo's Italian Grill, U.S. Highway 19, and um, all just south of Alderman. And then Fantastic we, place, really. And the second Tuesday, they're reviving the Ricky Peas, the New Orleans Bistro. It's like two or three days before uh, Mardi Gras. So they're expecting a big turnout. Woohoo! Ricky Peas. And we have two events that we're going to, I believe it's the 17th which would be February 17th, Tuesday, February 17th. Right after Valentine's Day, I guess. Yes, it's at Grillsmith in Wesley Chapel. So it's our first after-hour event at Grillsmith Wesley Chapel. We're kind of excited about that. Um, we just uh, had a great talk about 10 fantastic things to put on your website from Mr. Fantastic or Mr. Brand Brandtastic. Fantastic. Yeah, you Frank can Mac call me either. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> Mr. Frank Matola. And Frank has an interesting website, IncreaseTampa.com. That just leads to the resource page. The resource page. Of course, page. once you're there, you're on my website, so you can explore lots of other things there. There's lots of good content. We do much more than websites, brochures, yes, you logo do design. design. We've designed over 500 brands in our illustrative career. But before we uh, lose everyone here, I did want to mention to the RGA members that if they want to see this presentation live, they can go tomorrow to the Vine meeting. Ooh. What town is that Land in? Lakes. It okay. starts, um, they gather at 1130. They order lunch. I believe the meeting starts from 11, or from 12 to 1. Okay. But they get there at 1130 in order for... And then on Wednesday, we're going to be at Rib City. Which Ooh, is beautiful great Rib food. City in downtown, well, on 66th Street in St. Pete. St. Pete, right. Then I will be with Liz, actually, at Momentum Bank on Thursday morning. American right Momentum early. Bank on six, uh, Central Avenue. 930, right? 58th Street, I believe. 56th Street, something like that. 
the fifteen. So if you're in the RGA network, you will see Brandtastic one way or another, whether cool. you want to or not. Well, and I understand <laughs> you gave a great presentation today at seven seventeen South Howard. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yes, um, I got a good report from Pauletta. She called me on the way home. She's saying how so dynamic sweet. you were. Yes, she is. Um, Eric, do you have anything to add before we close our show? No, thanks for tuning in. All right. <laughs> well, everybody, uh, I want to thank. Uh, Life Improvement Radio, Mr. Eric Rimmel, Mark O'Donnell, the president and founder of RGA Network. My name is A.P. Bullock. I'm the vice president, among the other things. Uh, Mr. Frank Matola, thank you very much from Brandtastic. Thank you all for inviting me. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I think he's laid out a lot of pearls of wisdom tonight, so hit that website, and also you can hit his uh, website and contact stuff through the RGA website. So until next week, every night from 8 to 9, every Monday night, give us a shout. No doubt, okay? We'll see you next time. Come along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm happy. Come along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Thank you for listening to Life Improvement Radio. The views expressed by show hosts or their guests are their own and shall not be construed in any way as advice from Life Improvement Radio. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our website. Personal perspectives expressed by the producers, writers, or editors will always be presented as such. Any rebroadcast or retransmission without the expressed written consent of Life Improvement Radio is strictly prohibited. Thanks for listening.